Good morning. So uh, many of you are probably familiar with ecosystem services or the benefits that natural systems provide for humans. You might even use the terminology of ecosystem services in your papers to emphasize the importance of the systems that you're studying. However, natural scientists often aren't quite as comfortable with ecosystem service valuation or attaching a price to ecosystem services. This could be because they fear the privatization of nature or as one British environmentalist calls it, neoliberal gobbledygook. Now, I believe that joining the eco economic dark side might not be so bad because in today's business environment, attaching a price to something is how we acknowledge its value. In effect, it's just good accounting. So our research is using the final ecosystem goods and services classification system to assess the benefits of a river diversion into a swamp setting. Now, because we're measuring ecosystem services as benefits and not monetary transactions, we need first a means of understanding which biophysical parameters are important in producing human value. We next need a means of converting these biophysical parameters into economic parameters. Now, the final ecosystem goods and services classification system is conducive to this type of analysis because it explicitly links and differentiates between ecosystem structure and function, the final ecosystem goods and services, or the ultimate biophysical entity that produces human value, and then finally, human benefits. So we're particularly interested in reduced damages from hurricanes. So in this case, the final ecosystem good and service is the water regulating capacity of the system. So in our research, the biophysical modeling involves identifying which parameters are influenced by the river diversion, and then understanding how these changing parameters influence the regulating capacity of the system. This then connects to the economic analysis, where I'm using historical hurricane damages and correlating them with the health of the swamp. So, in conclusion, our research links biophysical modeling with economic modeling, allowing us natural scientists to more effectively and transparently communicate the benefits of coastal restoration into the future. Thank you very much.